where we're gonna drop. So we're gonna create polygon and I'm gonna go drop town from top town view so I'm gonna use control F. Of course you can obviously select view and find top town from top town view click there so it's gonna go as well but I use control F as for my own purpose so I'm gonna click and create area and the final one if you just right click it gonna go instantly by itself but this is the area and I'm gonna name it drop area now we're gonna this is area where I want the infinity to drop but point is that um, the area is just the um, place where what you have to script out by yourself again so I'm gonna go into scripts again edit scripts oh it was open already fail and I'm gonna create a new script since it's not about the beginning or something it's about something else new script and I'm gonna leave it against script tree and now if true the condition I'm gonna change that to true edit now we want that if the plane is inside that area what they created in other words polygon or whatever if the, tr the plane is inside that area then th it gonna power up so I'm gonna go because it's about pl one object plane it is just one object it is in object type and it is about area so it is area or path and now I want this I want to power drop when the plane is inside the object inside the area in other words at that moment when the plane when the plane gonna go inside that path inside that line after that moment it does it is inside the area so we cannot power drop so named object is inside an area click here now objects like always you use the bomber and is inside the area and drop area okay now we have the condition uh, I just mentioned just in case that if you make a rear don't make a rear like extremely small like this you can make it this way as well if you want to but uh, if there goes something wrong for example plane just ac accidentally maneuver like this or something else happens for some reason it co doesn't go inside the rear or the area is so small that it actually doesn't go f inside the rear or whatever then there won't then you won't be stuck or something like that that so if it is big enough then it is sure that it goes inside the area now we have condition we're gonna go action if true now it, if it is true I want it to paradrop but like we go inside the game we can see that town side there is F button or click button when it's gonna do action so I don't want it to bomb I want it to drop the infantry so I'm gonna edit it is again about object and now this is one thing what might be strange for you or you might be not used to it it's a little bit different than normally so we need to use command button from down here and there we are command button ability use command button ability we don't want it to use command button ability at waypoint or something that we want to use it instantly at that moment when it gonna inside the area so this is the biggest problem you see we can choose the object we can use the object to be bomber but if we use ability there are two things but there actually is much more right now we have that one here activity a eject passenger special power on target but let's say it isn't here you can't see it yeah and this is just empty so you need to go for one of these for example let's go here and just select do you see it here oh yes I can see all of them here we can go here let's see is it there no it's empty like the last one there was empty as well so we're gonna find one where is things I usually use the same thing upper one and here we go and we can find this one from here and the one what we are so 
Well, this is the one problematic place you have to find yourself. There are many commands all about, for example, if you want to construct something, you can use it here. If you want to upgrade vacuum bomb, mm, everything what mostly you need, like you need uh, air power, you need upgrade, you need you maybe you want to talk to Park somewhere, activate the Park special power. But we're gonna choose to activate eject passenger special power undercutly. We're gonna select this one. We are gonna drag it to make sure it is dragged. I'm gonna right click and copy. Of course, I can use usually Control C, but I'm gonna do this way so you can see it. Okay, and I'm gonna use both this one now. Now I'm gonna select the bomber. I want the om bomber to use that ability, and the ability, let's say it is empty, and we see it's empty, and I'm gonna just right click and paste. Okay, now it, that bomber gonna use that special ability. Yeah, for some reason, the normally it doesn't have a list, and you need to use it very a lot of times. Okay, now we have the bomber. If the bomber is inside the area, it cannot drop down the infantry. It is okay. The point is that I want that when it cannot drop down the infantry, it won't follow the plane anymore. The plane gonna go away, but I don't want to follow the plane. I want it to stay there when the infantry will be dropped. So I'm gonna go into that place and the same thing, the bomber is inside the area. So I'm gonna create a new one. I will go to cinematics. Let's campaign cinematics. And I think let's go camera. Now, there are a lot of commands, so I need to find the right one to make it like it stops or something like that. And let's see. Hmm. Stop following any units.